Chris, uh, another tough defeat on the road, but another performance that I think for large portions you would have been pleased with. What were your thoughts on the game overall? Um, well, there's some really good performances in that today from certain players. I thought Gavin Massey was excellent. Um, Ethan Mitchell, very dogged, stuck to task really, really well. Some difficult circumstances, hot day, 10 men. Um, looking at the general statistics of the game, like they've ended up having five shots on target in a, a game where we've had a obviously a sending off um, just before half time, wasn't it? And um, it's affected the game because we had them in a lock. We had the ball back a lot. They went long a lot because they couldn't pass through us. They kept giving us the ball back. Um, yeah, it's been a real opportunity for them to get an upper hand in us on, on that tackle. Um, from my perspective, I feel like we should have been in a in a position of strength anyway because it was late in the first half and uh, what he does is go up to you know, a goal for the good in that. Uh, but we didn't get it. I mean, they had a good chance, bottom corner, uh, but that's a simple off a throw in and Longy not tight to the 10 to get his cross in. Ben made a good save, bottom corner. But other than that, it was very, very comfortable. So game changes at that point. And then at half time, you try and think about tactically how you can stay in a game. Um, try and stretch it out for as long as possible to then sort of take the handbrake off with 10 men. Um, but we conceded after what would be maybe five, six minutes of the second half, something like that. Um, and that was very unfortunate because it's a ricochet, it's two ricochets off both my centre halves. Corey's had to drop down into the uh, bat line. Uh, doesn't stop the cross, but he gets a nick on it. Longy nicks it and it just bounces straight in front of the goal. Um, very unfortunate, but it happened. And then from that point onwards, I wanted to keep discipline within the game because I didn't want it to end up six and seven. And we stretched it out another 20 minutes. And then we tried to then get our goal and getting our goal and changing the tactic. Um, you, we've then opened out a little bit more and that's why York get another couple of goals. But they've, they've ended up with five shots on target against our three and we had a great chance at 1-0. Uh, Charlie Jolly underneath the bar. Yeah, so I'm disappointed. Um, uh, and dear to the lads in terms of the hard work. They know they're doing uh, better than the scoreline suggests, but they also understand that they need to work very hard in times like this to turn it around. Um, and they definitely didn't give up today. So uh, if they did things like that, um, yeah, I'd be very, very disappointed in that. And uh, But I think we represented the AFC file fans and the club to the best of our capabilities in the situation we were in. We'll touch on the red card in a second, but obviously leading up to that, I thought we were doing some very good things. Obviously, they look a possession-based team. We were forcing them on quite a lot. What was the sort of thinking prior to the game and what did we want to do to them? Yeah, well, it's, it's to try and get them in a, um, a, a tactical situation that we did and un, you know get under the skin, make them uncomfortable. And that's why they went long a lot. Uh, I know they bring the goalkeeper out a little bit. Um, the right side centre half was free, but we had a situation where everybody knew the links. If anything, that's that's how Harry ended up getting sent off. He, he was he was late in regards to the tactic, and then he's done what he's done. So refs refs give him a red. I mean, I'm so frustrated at the moment, with referees, because Luke Brennan's in on the in front of our fans, last man in on goal. This side, I can't remember who it was getting his jersey pushed, last man in and. Granted, I don't want to see anybody get sent off, but if that was us, would that have been a red? Um, Wheelstone, the, the lad absolutely nails Corey Whelan and then makes another tackle. Should be sent off, not sent off. Ref ignored it, managed to take him off in the first half. And another substitute's come on. I think that's four times in eight games where an opposition's made a substitute and they've scored. So... That's not, you know, why on, on that shift, but that's actually happened um, too easy. So I'm not happy about that. There was a full 90 minutes for Gavin Massey. How pleased were you with his performance and his contribution? Well, he's a quality performer. He's the uh, oldest player on the pitch and probably ran the most. And I thought some of the stuff he did in terms of his technique is a great pass. I think he got John in beautiful down here. Lovely loped, uh, loped pass over the back four. We've got to make more of that moment. And uh, all we could do is practice, practice, practice in regards of that because uh, the ball presented himself to John and the wide men many times. Perfect. Uh, wingers pitch, great pitch. Take your lad on. Um, 
yeah, we had a few great opportunities in that. I mean, Bryce stepped in fantastic, didn't he, first half. Uh, Joel Riley on the far side. Yeah, we had plenty of pressure, plenty of opportunity. The sending off changes it. Um, it is what it is. And just finally, what's your sort of message to, to the lads in there? Well, they're, they're honest lads and they're disappointed and it's hard. You know, I've been here as a player myself. It's hard when you when you when you're doing some very good things but not getting your reward. But in regards of the last sort of embers of a game, our, our football discipline and our capabilities are dropping off, and that's not right. And it isn't really fitness because I know how hard we train. Uh, granted, we haven't got all the, the the stuff in at the moment, but it's it, you know. A sports scientist doesn't stop you uh, stopping a cross or scoring a goal. Um, obviously, the modern elements of football, but you know, I never had one. So it's, it's, it's important to keep the belief and it's important to dig in and not, and not dig out in regards to where you're at because if it becomes fragmented, then you've got a, big, a bigger problem. But it isn't at that point. Um, so I'm pleased with how they've tried to go about what they've done and the previous games, you know, Yeovil, much better than them for 66, 67 minutes. Much better than Forest Green. I mean, Steve Cottrell's interview after the match, so complimentary of the way we played. But again, nothing to show for it. And today, they were on the back foot a little bit. And that really gave him, you know, five, 6,000 people the lift off. Um, and I'm disappointed in the ref for that, but I'm also disappointed because I've not watched it back if it is an actual red or not. Um, but in the eye line of me in the game, I just thought it was a late tackle. It was Harry's first tackle, I think, of the game.